all have a garden? Oh, you? God, yes, potatoes, corn, old cane, fields, mm -hmm. yes. syrup. We had syrup, so I'm you telling made you. the cane and you and had the, the mule that would take it to around? Make it around, take it around and, and run the juice out and then we had somebody to cook the syrup mm -hmm. that would run through a pane. Right. While the mule run, turned around, somebody had to feed the cane into the mill, right. the cane mill. And then they run the juice in the pain, and the juice run out to the end of the pain, and then they put the fire up on that and cook the syrup. Mm -hmm. And then you had to stir it so it didn't burn? They had to keep the syrup, and right. they had to cook it right so it wouldn't sour too. Right. Because if they didn't get it done enough, you'd be sour, it would be no good in a few weeks. Did you all bank white potatoes or sweet potatoes? We banked sweet potato every year. Mm -hmm. And he would store our white potato up in a under the house. Okay. And you just laid them out side by side? Spread them out up and up in the house, mm -hmm. beneath the house. It, it kept them under there in a safety place on a on a, a crocus sheet like that. Uh -huh. And just laid our white potato up under there mm -hmm. until we use them up. Right. But nothing came in that would eat them? Nothing didn't bother them because they kept rats and things away back putting out rat paws and get the rats from around. Okay, and they had, they had, they no had dogs or cats? They didn't have no dog and cat to go in there to bother them. My oh. dad and mom were very peculiar people, mm -hmm. my problem. And I was sweet potato, we would bank them. We would put those sweet potato there, like they got this big bed, right. and put all those sweet potato in there. And after pick up, we would pick out the one that had the bruise on it, etc. And uh, then we would put the, uh, we would put the, corn stalk up on top of the sweet potato. Mm -hmm. and after the corn stalk we put on top of the sweet potato, then they'll put we'll put straw mm -hmm. from uh rake straw from out in the woods. Okay. The near straw, pine straw. Pine straw. Mm -hmm. pine straw. And covered with pine straw. And after covering with pine straw, we'll put dirt on top of that pine straw mm -hmm. and pack it and seal it good. Mm -hmm and put a tub or something over top so the rain wouldn't get down into right. it. And we had sweet potatoes until the fall come again. You're a fantastic cook. What were your, some of your favorite meals that your mother would make? My mother would love to cook. My mother, cook. My mother was an outstanding cooker. Baked chicken, stew beef, black eyed peas, steamed cabbage. Potato pies, coconut pies, pound cake. My mother would cook most anything, any type of food. She okay. was a good cook. Did you uh -huh. all have a butter churn? We had a churn, mm -hmm. big churn. Okay. About like this. Okay, it sat on the ground we let though. Sit on the floor. Right. Mama would spread some down on the floor and churn on top of that because my mother was very intelligent and clean. And uh, she sit that churn there and we little children. We would cross our leg this way so we wouldn't be over the churn. It was to the side. So we would churn the milk till the butter come. And we didn't do that, then we'd put it in the jars sometimes and shake it until right. the butter come. Did you all fish? Yes, we went fish. With my brother, the biggest fish I caught was somewhere like that. And I, he made me a little cane to fish with, a little stick put a safety pin on there and bend it, and I caught a catfish about that long on the mm -hmm. safety pin okay. and stick he gave me. But I was standing in the branch by him. Okay. Yeah, we went down to the branch to fish, and we did all of those things. Mm -hmm. Did you then, make soap? Yes. <laughs> I forgot how to make it, though. My, oh, okay. mother, my mother was a soap maker. Okay. But I made soap twice since Mom died. But Mama Spirit was telling me how to do it. The first part turned out beautiful. I sent it all the way down to California in Atlanta, buy it with the church family. The second part I made, it didn't do nothing. It was water or something other. Now, did you sew? Yes, I sew. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know you sew, but what's your favorite things to make? Soups. Mm -hmm. Well, you definitely always have beautiful suits. Did you know Dorotha or Rosie Hampton? 
Yes. Solomon's mother. Mm -hmm. Because she also sewed. So would women get together and sew? Back then they did and quilt. Mm -hmm. Made quilt together. We went from house to house. My mom, I would follow them. And that's how I learned to do the thing that I do now. I followed my mom around. We went from house to house and made quilt. And uh, also, if one didn't know how to do, the other that did know, they would show the one that didn't know how to do it. Very nice, nice talking with you. It's good to have you. <laughs> nice. Some more.